On the WHAS 11 night team live max HD radar from the WHAS 11 weather impact team. Take a look. There's Debbie. What's left of Debbie? A big tropical storm swirling just a little bit over Jacksonville and now heading toward the Carolinas, Savannah and Charleston on the way. What's now tropical storm Debbie parked right over the southeast coast, threatening the Carolinas with catastrophic flooding. And in the low country of South Carolina, residents of Charleston have been filling sandbags for days at free filling stations across several counties. State leaders warming warning don't take the storm lightly the storm has already turned deadly in florida killing at least four people when it made landfall as a category one hurricane overnight abc's samara theodore is in gainesville florida tracking the storm tropical storm debbie turning deadly in florida at least four people killed after Debbie made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane on Florida's Big Ben. A 13-year-old boy killed in Levy County after a tree fell onto his mobile home. In Dixie County, a car losing control and crashing. The driver and passenger did not survive. And the driver of this 18-wheeler dying after the big rig crashed into the water off the Tampa Bypass Canal. Heavy rain and flash flooding impacting northern Florida as the storm moves north. I'm actually standing uh, just outside of a church parking lot. Unfortunately, it does look like rain and flooding is setting up to be the primary concern in the coming days, especially for the states of Georgia and South Carolina. The slow moving storm taking aim at Georgia and the Carolinas. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper declaring a state of emergency. With the storm expected to sit for days, dumping up to 30 inches of rain in spots. Officials asking residents to take Debbie seriously. This type of rain hovering over us, coming with the intensity that they tell us that it's coming, uh, it's going to catch a whole lot of people by surprise. In Savannah, authorities putting a curfew in effect starting tonight. And this storm is not done yet. It'll meander in the southeast, bringing potentially historic flooding. President Biden has been briefed, and FEMA has deployed staff to Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas. Samara Theodore, ABC News, Gainesville, Florida. Now, what a story here. This is proof that you never know what you could find after a hurricane. An official with the U.S. Border Patrol posted on social media that the storm actually blew 25 packages of cocaine onto a beach in the Florida Keys. Someone found the drugs and they got a hold of authorities. Officials say the 70 pounds of cocaine have a street value of over $1 million.